the most part, checking a council PCN online is pretty straightforward. Either just go directly to the website of the council in question, or head to gov.uk to access their postcode checker and be linked to the correct page on the correct council's website. Once on the right page, you'll need the PCN number from your ticket in order to proceed. Unfortunately, this all becomes somewhat more complicated if you've lost your ticket. If this is the case, then your first port of call should be to contact the council who runs the car park or the roadway in question. With a bit of digging, you can usually find information about local councils by looking online or alternatively, you could actually return to the area in question and check the signage for details. By the way, if the signage or the road markings aren't clear, then snap a few photos and possibly use these in your appeal as parking operators are obligated to make their signage clear. You'll need some information ready when you contact them. Usually the time and date of the parking contravention, the address of the incident and your vehicle's registration number. However, some councils may want further information, like details from your car's V5 and from your driving license. Simple enough for most of us, except if you were using a higher vehicle, in which case, be prepared for quite a bit of back and forth communicating between all the different parties. Eventually, you should be able to find out the information you need and be given your lost PCN number which you can then use to access the normal payment site or to make an appeal. Speaking of appeals, there are quite a few parking fine loopholes which could be used to appeal against a parking ticket if you can prove that certain procedures and requirements were not adhered to, then you might be able to successfully appeal against a ticket. I've already mentioned parking companies needing to provide clear signage, but there's also a 10 minute grace period which might work in your favour. If your ticket is accusing you of staying just a few minutes longer than what you paid for, then you might have been within the 10 minute grace period and could use this loophole to get out of having to pay. If you're still in doubt about a lost ticket or a ticket that you want to appeal, then you may want to speak to a solicitor for some expert advice. This could cost far less than you might imagine with there now being online solicitors who are quick to contact, easy to speak to, and very often far cheaper than meeting in person. For instance, Just Answer has a trial that allows you to contact a solicitor for just five pounds. My colleague used their service and he managed to save over 270 pounds on a ticket. There's a link to Just Answer's trial in the description and if you use that, you'll also be supporting Money Nerd. So thank you.